Our spreadsheet integration is ready. You will need to have installed our setup for Redbubble using iMacros and Firefox. Spreadshirt will use the same process. It will only work with the new version of Spreadshirt's platform, which was released in October 2016. If you have an old account, you will need to create a new one as well to run this on. Just extract the attached zip file to your PC or Mac under Documents, iMacros, Macros, and there'll be four files that you need to uh, put in there. So there'll be one for Spreadshirt Dark, and there's three files for Light. Now we're going to go to your profile page, and under the Spreadshirt section, we're going to select the commission that we want. So under your name here, and then my account. And then we're going to scroll down to Spreadshirt. I'm going to enter the commission that we want. So I've set that at five. This will be five dollars per sale. And then we're going to save it here. Saved successfully. So that's been done. And I'm just going to go back to where we were. So we're going to have open both the platform and Firefox and Spreadshirt as well, and you need to be logged in on both. Now you can check your Spreadshirt queue, and to do that we're going to queue, and then Spreadshirt, we're already there. So you'll see the order that things will go and be uploaded in, in the upload rank here. So depending on whether you're running a dark uh, file or a light file, it'll pick the first of those available. So we're about to run a dark file. And so it's going to pick up this uh, image here, Blessed Are the Peacemakers. And it's a, a dark image. And all we need to do is press play and that will start that process running. This will be very similar to what we did for Redbubble. It's going to go through, select the right products for the audience that we have uh, selected. If you wanted to run multiple designs being uploaded at once, you can just change the repeat uh, number here and move the maximum number up. So you can do on, uh, on Spreadshirt, they've got an official number of designs you're allowed to upload per day, uh, which is 200. So as long as you stay within 200 designs per day, you're good. Okay, so it's just uploading a design at the moment. And it's going to take a few minutes to run through this process. There it is. And now it's going to start creating all the products for it. Okay, so lots of products there. Now the process that's about to go through is it's assessing what colored t-shirts it has uploaded to. Sometimes it does random things. While it tends to take into account uh, the color of the design, sometimes it'll do a random dark colored uh, product for a dark colored design and sometimes the reverse will happen where it's a light design it'll put it on a, a white or a, a light gray product and so what the system is doing is it's finding each example that that has happened and it's uh, assessing which ones need to be converted so anything that's showing up in white already it's not uh, needing to change and anything that it is converting to be a white background wherever possible. The other process that it's doing is you'll see 
in this area here where it's got the categories. If you've selected men only as the audience, it will just select uh, men here and accessories at the bottom. Uh, it also works for the audience, so if you've got women only, it would just select the women's category and accessories. Same for kids, if you had a kids only design uh, or you've had all for the audience, it'll select all of them. Uh, so it's, it's quite smart in that way. It's selecting just the right product. So if you've got something that isn't appropriate for certain audiences, it's not going to put that design onto the product type. Uh, so if you've got something, let's say, alcohol related, and you've selected the appropriate audience, so it's uh, going to be adults only, it would only put it on men's and women's, not kids and babies. Uh, the same if it's a grandmother shirt. Uh, it will only put it onto those products that are appropriate for women if you've selected the right option in the audience. Okay, so it's just gone through. It's selected all the right products for that uh, upload and made sure that they're going onto the right colors. It's now going to be adding all the appropriate details. So it's adding all the descriptions, the tags, and uh, adding the title. Now we're going to set the price that we've uh, already determined. So that was the $5. And it's done that now. And it's done. And it's now going to move on to the next image. I'm just going to pause it there. And I'll just show you what it's come up with. So you'll see all these products. Lots of uh, white images. No dark images, so everything looks right. It's done some accessories, phone cases. So that's looking pretty good. It's done a good job. And everything looks to be pretty well sized as well. We'll just go to, to edit. Uh, generally, it does a pretty good job. We haven't had to rearrange anything there. The white version is very fast. On the dark version, it's checking a few more things and taking a bit longer to be able to get that right. But uh, have a, a test with both the, the dark and the light versions. But uh, you, as you'll see, it looks like it's working pretty well. As always, if you have any questions, give us a yell and always happy to help.